The British are coming! Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere and William Dawes and Samuel Prescott. Word got to the Sons of Liberty that the British troops were making a move on Lexington to arrest Sam Adams and John Hancock. You will find Samuel Adams and John Hancock before the week is out. Gage admires Samuel Adams. He, uh, he's a rebel. He's a free thinker. I want to see them both hanged. Allegedly, it was Margaret who passed the information on from her husband to somebody who could have used it. Right. She had divided loyalties. His wife being American, it's going to, uh, you know, open Pandora's box. The jury's out whether Margaret was um, a patriot spy. One of the things that's fascinating about the American Revolution is the intelligence gathering that took place. They're coming. That's on the alarm. Revere's job was to row across the Charles River past British warships, then ride to Lexington. Another spy, William Dawes, was to take the land route. Once you've raised the alarm, make sure the safe house case haven't made it through. Godspeed. Dawes took off uh, on one route to get there at a very leisurely pace. By the time Paul left, it was much more of an urgent mission. Once they warned Adams and Hancock, they decided to go on to Concord. On the way, they bumped into Samuel Prescott. Fortunately, Prescott decided to tag along. When they got to a British roadblock, Prescott jumped his horse over a stone wall and escaped into the woods. Revere was captured. General Gage has asked that nobody is to leave Boston this evening. Despite what the Longfellow poem says, Paul Revere never made it to Concord. But Samuel Prescott did, just in time to warn the militia. Paul Revere's story made for good poetry, but the unsung heroes also made history. Sons of Liberty, sponsored by revolutionary craft brewer Sam Adams, for the love of beer.